Welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, I'll be guiding you through the process of creating and using a SOX 5 server with the V2Ray NG client on your Android device. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our helpful tech tutorials. Let's get started. To begin, we need to download the V2Ray NG client, which supports SOX 5 servers. Open the Play Store on your Android device. In the search bar, type in V2Ray NG and hit enter. After a few moments, you'll see a list of apps related to V2Ray. From the list, find the V2Ray NG VPN app and tap on it. This is the app we'll be using in today's tutorial. Once you've selected it, click the install button. The installation process may take a couple of minutes depending on your internet connection, so just wait for it to complete. Once the app is installed, go ahead and tap Open to launch the V2Ray NG client. You should now see the home screen of the app. This VPN app supports several protocols, including V2Ray, Shadow Sox, and WireGuard, but for this tutorial, we'll be focusing on Sox 5. Now that the app is open, tap on the Sox 5 option. You'll be taken to a screen with several empty fields where we'll need to input the Sox 5 server details. But before we do that, let's create our Sox 5 server. Go back to your home screen and open any web browser of your choice. In the search bar, type UDP Custom and hit enter. From the search results, look for the official UDP Custom website and tap on it. Once the website loads, you'll land on the home page. In the top right corner, there's a menu icon, tap on it. A list of options will appear. Scroll through the list and tap on the option that says SOX 5 Server. This will redirect you to a new page displaying different SOX 5 server options. From the available server list, choose any server's IP address and port number that you prefer. Switch back to the V2Ray NG app. Now, enter, enter the SOX 5 server details such as the IP address and port number into the respective fields. Make sure to give your configuration a name so that you can easily recognize it later. Once you've entered all the details, tap the checkmark button to save your settings. After saving your SOX 5 server configuration, tap on it to select it as your active server. Then, tap the play button to start the VPN connection. Before proceeding, it's a good idea to test the connection. You can do this by tapping the test button in the app, which will check the VPN connection's ping. To further verify that the VPN is working, you can visit a What Is My IP website, and you should see that your IP address has changed, confirming that your VPN connection is active and secure. Lastly, if you want to save this configuration for future use, first stop the VPN connection by tapping the Stop button. Then, tap the Share icon. You'll have the option to export your configuration either as a QR code or by copying it to your clipboard for easy access later. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope this step-by-step -step guide was easy to follow. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.